Member for Peace River North. Thanks, uh, Honourable Speaker. More than seven years after the declaration of a public health emergency, the province continues to set one grim record after another. 2,314 deaths in 2022, a record high. 197 deaths just in March, a record for any March. Record 30-day average of overdose calls in March. Highest overdose calls ever on a single day in March, on March 22nd. Unprecedented 19-day streak of 100-plus overdoses. Honourable Speaker, behind every single one of those numbers is a loved one. Beyond every single one of those numbers is a family that grieves on one of those families. Honourable Speaker, as someone who sat on the Health Committee, the Select Standing Committee on Health, which was chaired by the now Attorney General, made up of members from both sides of the House, we heard firsthand incredibly heartbreaking stories of those who have lost ones to addiction. Our committee identified gaping holes and a lack of urgency from this NDP government. And I'll list off the top three. Rapidly scale up flexible evidence-based low barrier comprehensive continuum of care. Leverage and strengthen existing mechanisms Question member. to hold the health authorities accountable and identify the touch points. Honourable Speaker, six months later, here we are doing the same thing over and over again and somehow expecting different results. So my question, Honourable Speaker, to the Premier, who has chosen to ignore Is there a the committee's member? recommendations and double down on more of the same. Question member. Honourable Speaker, why is this Premier continuing to double down on doing the same thing and expecting different results? Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for uh, for raising for raising the question, and uh, want to uh, take the opportunity to reflect on the most recent coroner's report, and of course agree that each of these deaths is tragic. They represent our neighbours, our friends, members of our community, and I know we all extend condolences to those who have lost loved ones in this unrelenting toxic drug crisis. Mr. Speaker, we have taken uh, numerous steps to, uh, to match the recommendations from the Select Standing Committee, of course, much of that work, and we are very grateful for the collaboration across this House in that work. Those recommendations in many respects confirmed uh, work that we are doing across our healthcare system with our community partners, scaling up harm reduction, uh, making, uh, making harm reduction services more broadly available, working to scale up treatment um, uh, opportunities, opening hundreds of beds, investing in upstream mental health services for children and youth, working across that entire continuum with an unprecedented billion dollar investment in this budget. We will continue to do that work with our health authorities, with our community partners, and uh, I know that uh, working, working together, we know, is the way to get that, that we will be able to address these challenges. 